Hello and welcome to our 13th Java tutorial for beginners. On our last video we went through arrays and iteration of arrays. Now we will be going through parameters. So what are parameters? Parameters act as variable inside a method. So here we have created, created a method and inside the parentheses we have included two parameters. So we have f name as string and age as integer. The method is void, so the method should not return a value. Now we are going to print out the f name as string and age as integer. But we can call this method as much as we want from our main class. So I have called it three times parmet as you see I called it I call this function parmet the times and I have passed two arguments the f name and the age let's run the program and as you see we got three times a printout first name is Ben and the age is 25 the same goes with Tom and 35 and again with Mary and age as 45. Let's do another example. Now we are going to do another method. This time we are not going to use void, but we are going to use int. So this time we need to return a value. I called this method retsinmet and I have passed the parameter int x. And we are going to return the x value. So let's go to our main program and we are going to print out x is equals to and the parameter and I have passed x as 100 the x argument as 100 let's run the program so as we see we got x is equals to 100 what we can do we can also pass the method with the parameter and store it in a in integer x. So here we are going to do the same, a printout with x because I have passed this method with a value this time of 20 of 200. Let's run the program. As we see, we got this line which is x is equals to 200. Let's do another example. This time we are going to pass multiple parameters. In this case we are going to pass two parameters. Again we called this as this method as integer ret multmet and we are going to to return x plus y. So let's go to our main program and call the red malt method with arguments x as 100 and y as 20. So the answer should be 120. Let's run the program. Okay, and we, have, we got x plus y is equal to 120. The same goes to storing the method with argument inside integer x so let's run again the program and we are going to we're supposed to to receive 102 the printout should be 102 as we see x is equals to 102 let's increase let's do another another variable this time we're going to call it z and here we are going to return x plus y plus z. Also here we need to increase the argument. Let's say 50. And again goes here. 38. Let's run again the program. So the first one is 100 plus 20 plus 50, which is equals to 170. And the second one, 100 plus 2 plus 38, are equals to 140. So x is equals to 140. 
and like this we have passed more more than one we passed three arguments in this example instead of passing the inside the method an integer we are going to do a string we're going to pass a parameter f name a string and it's at, uh, as it is not a void we are going to return a value f name inside our, inside our main java we are going to call the method and the argument string as ben let's run the program and we got f name is equals to ben again goes to string we can also store the method and the vary and the and the argument in string and we called it this time name and we are going to print out name is equals to this argument name which is equals to tom let's run the program and we see as we see we got name is equals to tom so we can pass again multiple parameters also in string we can use here string double characters etc so as again as we don't have a void we are going to return a value and it's going to be f name plus l name like first name and last name we're going to call them from our main method and f name plus l name is equals to the name of the method and the arguments which is f name and l name let's run again the program and we got f name plus his name is equals to ben brown the same goes to strings we can store the method and arguments arguments inside a string and we call the string name so name is equals to name which is tom brown let's run the program and as you see we got name is equals to tom brown in this example we are going to use a parameter with an if and else statement again we are going to use void so we're going to return no value and inside the parentheses we are going to pass integer great so if great is is big is greater than 50 and great is less or equals to 100 we are going to print out past the exams else we will be printing out failed the exams so we go to our main java program we are going to call the method and inside the argument we are going to write 75 so as an output as a printout we are we should have passed the exams let's run the program yes and we get pass the exams if we replace the argument 75 to 35 let's say 35 the uh, the printout should be failed the exams let's run the program and as you see we get failed the exams thanks for watching and if you like my videos please share and subscribe thank you